How's it going? I'm Ruby Burrito, and welcome to today's video. If you are new to the channel, feel free to drop a like or a comment. Let me know what you think. Maybe even subscribe if you're feeling up to it. Otherwise, enjoy the video. How's it going, everybody? I am Ruby Burrito, and today we are going to talk about leveling. So, I made this character a couple videos back in the creating a character video. And now, I would like to talk about leveling. So, the game can be a little overwhelming, as most MMOs can, especially ones that have been around for as long as Guild Wars has. So, I would like to just try to give a little bit of insight to what you can do and what you might want to move towards as you start the game. So, right off the bat, I can see there's six seven with that person that just ran by you uh you can tell that that person is a little bit more experienced in the game because they already have mounts unlocked on their character this person has a mount and next to them so you can see that next to their name right here there's an indication that lets you know that they have a mastery rank mastery ranks are shown and unlocked when you reach level 80 80 being the maximum level so this person is down to level three you can see the little arrow there uh the way that guild wars works actually so in the zone that i'm in this is caladon forest you can see it's levels one through 15. we'll get to these other symbols later one through 15 you're gonna start actually right here where i started recording is where i came out of the tutorial zone and from here your indication is typically to go and talk to a scout. If I talk to the scout, they call you over. They're going to pull you back. You can hear in the background that they're going to talk through what they have in the top right of the screen. They put a circle over these heart symbols. Those are very simply called hearts. Or heart quests, renowned hearts. There's not a typical quest system. In Guild Wars 2, that's one of the things that was marketed with it. And you can see, I believe that was five different hearts that were, there's number six. And each one of them has a level next to it. That's going to be the suggested level to complete that content. As you journey outward, you'll encounter amazing now, waypoints that, for a small fee, allow you to rapidly traverse the land. As she says in the top right corner, that's a waypoint. And I can mouse over it on my mini map, and it says a story, a waypoint, five copper, click to teleport. It actually tells you how far away you are, too. So that's just the units that it uses. So I'm 1,419 units away, and it's clearly not steps because I'm right next to it, and I'm still 50 units away. So one of the first things I can do is I can Pardon mouse me. over this one. I'd like to talk to you. And I can kind of see on my minimap in the bottom right that there's this light path that is changing directions and showing which way I'm looking at. I can make my minimap about yay big. Um, I have a decently sized monitor, so it's the spacing is, is pretty big. I'm not going to mount up during this. I'm going to try not to glide. I'm going to kind of try and, and show what it would be like for a new player. So if you press F on these, you get a termite larva. You can just start hitting them. You've got some NPCs that help you. And you can see up here on the right, you get a little bit of progress. There's a bar showing you how far you get. And actually, when I mouse over it, it shows you where on the map you can go. Or where on the map the heart quest is. So one of the things that you can do, actually, is just kick this prickly tree. So it says, kill termites, uproot termite larvae, and feed prickly fruit to hungry moas. So to feed them the fruit, you just kick the trees. A lot of the game is going to be interacting with things via your interact skill, which for me is the F key. So to complete this heart, I just keep doing the things that I mentioned. And now, oh, look at that. I just leveled to level three. I got an achievement for applying conditions. So my, if I mouse over my abilities, you can see three different abilities here. The one that's outlined is actually the first one that is going to be used. So a lot of auto attacks or your first attack actually has a chain. So I have misery swipe, anguish swipe, and then manifest toxin. So it goes from one to the next to the third when you're in combat. 
And if I go into combat here, you can see the skill icon changing and going back between the three of them. Searing Fissure is just one. That's going to apply Bleeding. This one applies Torment and Poison. And that's how I got the Apply 20 Conditions. And it gives you experience. So that's actually what I want to focus on today. This is one of the newer things that was added to the game. I may have mentioned it previously, but the Adventure Guide, every single one of these steps gives you XP. To do them, typically you're doing something that gives you XP. This is what each level reward looks like. You can see your increase to attributes. It'll tell you about your inventory. It tells you about PvP, because at this point, you can play PvP, because level doesn't matter. And I get a leather bag. So if I go to my inventory with I, these are the Hall of Monuments Portal Stone and the Golem Banker are things that I have from way back uh, when I pre-ordered the game. I got the addition that I got allows me to have these. So this is the mace that I got from, uh, excuse me, I, the mace that I got from starting the game. This is this hero band is something that I also got along with these for pre-ordering. So I don't actually have anything attached to my character that I wouldn't have had back in 2012. The only thing that's different now is that I'm actually able to get additional experience from these adventure guides. They were put there to help you get to level 80 and to help you understand different aspects of the game better. So when I complete this heart, there could be an achievement for completing hearts. Let's go and take a look. Defeating enemies, if you mouse over, if there's more than what it tells you, it'll actually allow you to see. Let me see if I can find if something with multiple tiers. Nothing in here has multiple tiers. So maybe I'll go to Slayer and I can show something with multiple tiers. I'll go to Giant Slayer. So you can see that there's four tiers here. To complete the entire thing, which is tier four, I get a thousand achievement. I, I have to kill a thousand giants. If I mouse over, the total is 16. And you can see what amount of achievement points you get for each tier. So the special thing about doing this award. is now, see, uh, there it is, completing Renowned Hearts. I got another level, and now I've been playing for seven minutes, not very attentively, but I was able to finish a heart and get two levels. And now you can see I'm actually leveled down to level three. When you complete a heart, you can come and talk Be to safe. the heart vendor. They have a little yellow filled heart over them. If I walk away, you can see on the map now, there's a filled heart on the map. And you I can talk to them before you finish, but now I can take a look and I can buy any one of these items. I can sell anything that I have. Tiny Fang is going to be a material item that I want to hold on to. So, Ooh. someone's saying hi. When you're starting in the newer zones, it's also a pretty good place. I'll pause for a minute. See, that's another thing that I love about uh, Guild Wars is this person has no idea who, that, who I am. So one of the things, as I was saying, one of the things that I love about this game is this person felt very comfortable just reaching out and saying hi. It ended up that they <laughs> they haven't played before and uh, they had some questions. So um, I'm happy that they, they felt comfortable. Okay. They had some questions, and I'm happy to, always happy to answer them. So if I go back to my map, I can see that there's a lot of unexplored things. I have this here, which is actually, if I mouse over this undiscovered one, it says undiscovered point of interest. There's a merchant here, armor smith, weapon smith, pretty, pretty typical, uh, pretty typical icons here. So the, the fun thing is you can see this, this guy who just started playing, you've got some people who are most likely doing map completion which is another thing that I wanted to talk about. So he 
is or they are going and just killing some things working on different different achievements just learning the game and so part of that is getting so now that before said undiscovered point of interest now it says solitaire island and over here you can see caledon forest that's the map i'm on you can see hearts hero challenges which i haven't seen yet waypoints which i showed off vistas and points of interest point to this points of interest pretty much just you run over to them and they unlock and they're just named areas on the map so you can see i just discovered the verdance and i got some xp so even just running around i i didn't even get to any of the icons but i was able to get some extra experience and i'm running now to uh what you can see here i've got another heart and another waypoint when i get to the waypoint you'll see that i get some more xp We'll wait for it here i'm not using yep see 230 and you can see that it opens up here if i click on it it disappears but now i can go to the waypoint or i can go to my map and i can see oh i can waypoint here or if i come down here i can waypoint over here and if i waypoint over here it'll teleport me all the way back here and i get an achievement now if i want to go back and do the heart seven copper is pretty cheap because i've been playing this game for quite some time it might take a little bit to get a decent amount of gold but i wonder if they're auto running into a wall if i want to if i want to ask this guy questions it says the wardens work hard to protect astoria and the grove but they can't do it alone would you be willing to help what do you need me to do our main challenge is dealing with any undead that happen into the area after that you can help the wardens train or assist them on patrol i'll lend a hand and that's pretty much what it says here. Revive territory markers, defeat undead, rebuild fortifications, and spar with local wardens. So this ranger here, for example. Would you care to join me for a friendly duel? Waiting for the battle grows tiresome. Then a battle you shall have. So they'll bow. If I want to bow back, I can do slash bow. And now I can fight them. They're not very strong, and I get a little bit of uh, progression there. I can destroy these grasping hands, which actually will spawn some risen. If I'm quick, I can kind of do a bunch of them. And then they're all going to come and join me. And then I can get this faster. So. Now I'm already almost done with the heart. And I'm already almost to level 5. So you can actually get to level 80, which is the maximum level, pretty quick by going through these different methods. Because if I zoom out, I could do map completion here. There's another 1 to 15 here. Ooh, 15 to 25, 15 to 25, 1 to 15, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, all the way up to the level 80 zones. There's one here. This is a, an ex, a living world zone. These are all Quartiria. This is a 70, 80 in Quartiria. These are also all Quartiria. So there's a lot of different zones you can play on if I don't want to play in Caledon Forest. Actually, let me waypoint back over here. Let's see if... Oh, good. Um, I can actually run up here into the grove. For expediency's sake, I'm going to hop on a raptor. I know I said I wasn't going to, but... I don't want to keep this dragging on for too long. So now I'm actually loaded into and just got a waypoint in the Grove, which is the capital city for the Silvari, which is the race that I'm playing. You can see over here to the to the west, Radasum, that's the capital city for the Asura. Divinity's Reach, that's the capital city for the humans. Holbrack Norn, Black Citadel, Char. This is for the 10th anniversary. I can see you've traveled This is far. a 10th anniversary person. Um, I have yet to finish those achievements because I just haven't been going for them. So you can see that these mushrooms kind of look like you could jump up on them. And in fact, you can. This is an intended mini jumping puzzle to get all the way to the top of this building. If you don't have a mount that can fly or jump really high, like the Springer or Griffin or Skyscale, you can jump all the way up here, and you can see this is a Vista. 
And now, vistas are kind of like POIs where you have to go to them, or waypoints where you have to go to them, but vistas actually give you a really cool view. And there's some beautiful music in the background. That's the grove. That is the tree that birthed all... No. That is the tree that is the home to all of the Silvari under which they are born. If I want to go try a different zone, I can run and I can go to... There's a POI and I leveled up. Look. See map completion is really good because you're constantly getting xp for things you have to kill a bunch of things i unlocked rallying and you get to see some cool new places so this is a gorgeous gorgeous map you can actually go up there into that tree there's a pod right there on my screen that will take you up but let's say that i want to join these travelers and go someplace else well here's lion's arch this is actually a rebuilt lion's arch when you play through the story, um, the personal story, you'll see that there is a lot of content in Lion's Arch before it was destroyed. And actually today, I'm filming this on 11-8, November 8th. The quality is a little fuzzy. Interesting. But today, actually, the last season, or the last episode of season one came out. And that would be when Lion's Arch got destroyed. That's a little bit of a spoiler for people, but kind of hard to avoid when the first time you come here, they give you this cutscene and you get to see all the different places in Lion's Arch. I'm not going to explore any of these. I'm actually going to skip to the end here. And I'm going to run this way. This is a Mystic Forge. This is for crafting a whole bunch of stuff. You've got a waypoint here. This giant octopus is a bank. That shell over there is the trading post. This is the Black Lion Company building. So the Black Lion trading post if I hit O. This, like the in-game store, everything is over there. So to give me kind of the furthest away, if I hold Alt, I can kind of take a, look, a peek at who is where. I'm looking for these Iron Legion soldiers. The char outside tell me that this is going to the Black Citadel. So if I'm going to zoom out and I'm actually going to show you where I just was. So I went from here all the way to here through a gate. And then I ran over to the eastern ward here. And I took another gate and it took me to the Black Citadel. And I actually started here. I'm going to come out here. I don't... When you start, I'm not sure if this is on every new account, but you actually get waypoints. If you don't have them what i just showed is a way to get from different places especially if you don't have money it's a good way to get around it takes a little bit longer but it's okay so now i'm on a completely different map and if i talk to this scout they're going to show me a bunch of different hearts and this is where you're going to start if you're a char and i can see all the different char stuff you can see it's a completely different color on the map because this is Ascalon, so everything is different i'm not going to listen all the way through if i want to i can come oops bad habit if i want to i can come over here i can hit this worm mound and now i can fight this plains worm hatchling and it'll give me progress here so if you when you complete a map you get a piece of mail in well in your inbox and by completing a map i mean you complete all the tasks all the hero challenges all the vistas all the waypoints and all the p points of interest you get a piece of mail and it gives you a reward. Or, well, you get a reward and you get a piece of mail. When you complete every single core Tyrion map, of which I believe the number's 26, it's a, num it is a number that I have in my head, but I could be wrong, that is when you get a gift of exploration. And a gift of exploration is what you use to make legendaries. If I, actually I've already used all of mine. If I just finish the heart. And actually, I've been doing something where... Is this going to open for me? Can I jump over this? No? How do I get out of here without using a mouse? Hello? That's a good question. Um, oh. Let's go over here. That's 
probably the entrance. One of the things that I've been doing is I've been clearing my hearts uh, out of habit with a right click. So if you click on them, something will actually pop up and give you information about the heart. If you right click, it, nothing pops up. You just get the rewards and that would be the end of it. So that's another thing to... It's another one of the little things that are kind of... I only get better oh, and better. There's another level. So actually, if I right click this, nothing, it doesn't change what happens. I'm going to go with a sword. I don't want to play with a staff. But for this one, you can fire cannons at these targets. Or you can come up here and kill Skrit. So there's a lot of different things. There's The hearts are all different sorts of things to interact with, either shooting cannons or moving. Uh, sometimes you have to feed cows with hay or put chickens back into their coop. Sometimes it's killing things. There's even one where you have to stealth through what they give you. They give you a stealth and then you have to hit a bunch of flags and not be seen. It's, it's by Ash Legion, so it's, it's about being sneaky. So there's a lot of different things you can do. It gives you a way to explore the maps. It gives you a whole lot of stuff to do. Plus, as I said earlier, the more of these you finish, to, this is called a meta achievement. You can see at the top, it's five out of 14. And to get this one, I have to achieve 14 of the 16 Adventure Guide Volume 1 achievements. These are character bound. So if I start this character and I want to switch to another one, this all of these reset on the other character. So if you want to level, it's a really good way. I've been I have almost 3500 hours in the last 10 plus years. So no, I've I have definitely defeated more than 25 enemies in my in my playing time and, and viewed more than 3 vistas. So it's a good way. And interacting with people can lead you to some interesting places so if you have any questions absolutely let me know down in the comments uh if you are looking for somebody to play with in game it does make it a lot more fun to have somebody to play with looking for guilds is a good way or even just like the guy that i have in my party right now did come and say hi in party chat or in say chat and then you can end up playing with each other I think that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video and you're feeling generous, feel free to like and subscribe. And have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.